And what about when he buried you? Oh, we don't talk about that. This technique uh, is a very ancient technique that is, is practiced in shamanism and spiritual healing. Basically, the person digs a hole in the ground, they enter into the ground and cover themselves. Uh, they put some uh, branches on top, so you don't actually get the, the soil in your, in, your, in, your, in your face, so to speak, right? There is this roof of branches. So all that is covered and is closed. There is only uh, left a little hole for breathing. And then you spend most times the entire night there. Some other times you could spend there 24 hours or more. What you do there is to have a connection with, with, with the earth, which is experiencing that particular moment as Mother Earth and experience, is experienced in a sacred way. We discovered that by placing people in such uh, circumstances, people get visions about what they need to do in their life. They get the clarity about issues that confuse them in everyday life. Some people speak about getting some kind of healing. And what I have witnessed in practicing this and what I have experienced myself is that the, the current of your thoughts stops. A different quality of thinking comes that is much more quiet, is kind of slower and is much deeper. There is a moment when you are talking to the earth, which is a way to speak. You may be actually talking or not, it's not really relevant, but the connection you are experiencing makes a difference. So if you want to explain that to someone else, it's really difficult that somebody could get what you mean, even if, if I'm telling you the technique. Only the one who experiences it and, and who do, do, does it, this uh, with commitment would, is really able to get a sense of what this, this technique is about. But far from being a scary or terrifying experience, because in the beginning you imagine like being enclosed there could be terrifying. To tell you the truth, it's a beautiful experience because it's, it's surrendered to the embrace of the love of Mother Earth.